Hey everybody, I'm Andy the Kenworth Guy. Thanks for coming by the channel today. So, Happy New Year. I hope you had a great holiday season, a great Christmas and New Year's. I uh, hope you got time to spend with your families. I'm glad to be back here reviewing trucks. So today, we have a new truck to show you. In about two and a half years, I haven't had a chance to showcase this option. Uh, it's something that's new that the factory is doing now on this particular model. And I'm not gonna reveal what that option is until the end of the video. So you're gonna have to wait till the end of the video to see what this option is. If you do figure it out before I say it, comment below and let me know that you got it. So without further ado, let's roll that intro and we'll see you out at the truck. All right, so here it is. It's a little chilly here. It's a lovely January day. It's warmer than it normally is, but it's damp and mild, so it, the cold just cuts right through you. So I got my uh, Kenworth toque on, I'm good to go. Uh, first of all, I'd like to have a big thank you to the folks at Harris Transport for buying this truck. It's, uh, it's one of several coming in. So I'd love to just uh, show it to you guys and see what it's all about. So this is a 2020 T680 midroof. Uh, the general overview is it's a Super B or heavy haul, Canadian heavy haul, 140,000 pounds is what this will be, be hauling. Uh, so let's uh, check it out. I'll give you all the details. All right, so like I said, this is a 2020 T680. Uh, this has the chrome bumper on the front, which is a two-piece design. Now, something to look at here, you can see the two pieces there, uh, seamed right down the middle. But something to look at is there's no cutouts for fog lights. Uh, the factory doesn't offer that on the chrome bumper. It only offers it on the painted bumper. But uh, the customer required uh, to have the fog lights. So, what our guys at the shop did is we have these special fog lights that click into the tow pin area and that uh, kind of solves that issue there. You'll notice the big plastic cover here. This has the Bendix Wingman Fusion with adaptive cruise control. So that's uh, the radar system. I'll show you the other sensor on the outside. And uh, we have the chrome uh, shroud around the, the grill. And this is the aluminum metal mesh grill, heavy duty. These tabs right here uh, are for the winter front, so it's a factory supplied option. And then you have the bug screen in behind the grill. Uh, we ordered the truck with uh, dual mirrors, uh, that's hood mounted mirrors, and they are breakaway style. So if you wanted to knock them down there so that uh, when you're opening up the hood, you have a little bit more clearance or they're not kind of right out in your way, easy to do, just one handed operation there. I rinsed this truck off. It was cleaned at uh, Big Truck Detail. They did a really great job, but uh, all this slop, like even my shoes, look at they're just filthy dirty. You can't keep anything clean in this weather, so I just rinsed it. And uh, finishing off the front end, look here, we have the chrome mirrors on both sides and the chrome sun visor. So on this side here, we have your battery box, the def tank, and then we have your fuel tank. We do have the option to straddle the, uh, put the fuel fill behind, but with the brackets, as you can see here, the suspension brackets and the seven inch straps kind of interfere. So that strap would have to be here, which would have a huge gap there. So they put the filler cap right there. Alternatively, everything gets slid back, but then that interferes with space for mounting toolboxes. And so we wanted to keep it as tight. So that's the solution there. Uh, this is the 76 inch mid-roof sleeper. Uh, so you have the extenders on here as well on both sides. The beacons mounted up on the roof. This truck is a flat deck uh, hauler. So the beacons for oversized loads uh, are on there. We have this condenser on the back wall and what that is for 
is for the KIM system. KIM stands for Kenworth Idle Management System. So that is a uh, battery powered air conditioning unit. And I'll show you where those batteries are here in a minute. Uh, so the factory straps these down here. The customer is going to be relocating those onto their headache rack once they put the truck in service. And then we ordered the stainless uh, quarter fenders from the factory as well. These are level one aluminum rims all the way around with the Kenworth eight bag air ride. And the nice thing about the eight bag air ride, when you're needing to put toolboxes on a truck, uh, you don't have any suspension hangers or any brackets mounted right there. It gives you a nice clean install so you can get a box right tight to the cab or to the tires. The Goodyear G182s on the back end here and a single frame rail 10 and 5 eighths and it's the Holland uh, seven inch ride height, 24 and a half inch slide, fifth wheel that we put in there. Oh, I didn't talk about the diffs. Uh, so the rear differentials here are the Meritor R RT40-160, so those would be like a Super 40. So able to haul Super B weights, no problem at all. Uh, we have a ground exhaust. So you can see right here, exhaust is down on the ground. And there's also another exhaust port right here. And that is for the factory installed S-Bar heater going in the bunk. Here's the second fuel tank. And then here is the Kim's batteries. So that is mounted in that enclosed battery box. There's that other sensor I was talking about uh, for the Bendix Wingman Fusion system. Uh, we have a door with a window on this side. The other door, uh, the other side is just a flat uh, side with no window. The nice thing about doing that is you get more insulation when you order it without the window. Uh, just, uh, but you do have the option to throw stuff in out, but just different ways to configure it. So let me open up the hood here and we'll show you what is underneath. Nice light hood to open. Okay, I went to the gym, it's New Year's, New Year's resolutions. I am, my arms and my chest are so sore right now, you have no idea. Like this is heavy to pick up right now, it really hurts. So I'm in a lot of pain. Ouch, that really hurt my arm. That's okay. New Year's resolutions are hard and painful, so getting in shape and getting to the gym, it's important, you gotta do it. Hey, side note, okay, here's a new feature. Getting real with Andy. New feature, I don't know, maybe I, this is the only time, maybe I'll do it, maybe not. New Year's, I don't know how many of you set New Year's resolutions, uh, I do but I also changed my resolution throughout the year. I, I kind of adapt it. But uh, there's a few things that I said I wanted to do this year. One, set goals. I usually set goals halfway through the year. I kind of fell off the wagon this last year. It's time to get on track, set goals, be kind, love your family, work hard, and be the world's best. So that's my, my mantra for this year. So I don't know what yours is. I hope you're setting goals, working hard, loving your family, being kind, and being your best. So that's what I'm doing. Maybe you want to do it too. So that was a short little segment. Moments with Andy. <laughs> all right, so under the hood, I'm all over the map some days. That's okay. We have the Packar MX-13, 510 horsepower, 1850 torque. This is the largest horsepower and torque rated 13 liter platform on the market anywhere in North America. So you have 1850 torque, 510 horsepower in a 13 liter platform. Very good engine. It's been doing very well for us. Great fuel economy out of it with our customers. All right, so the rest of the side here, what we have, uh, here's your power steering. Here's your engine oil fill, your check, your washer fluid. There's your fuel filter, uh, your fuel prime pump right there. We have some fuses and circuits, relays all right up in here. So it's right on the firewall, easy to open up. You can even do it with a glove on. You have a little pincher right there for getting access to some of the circuits and fuses. We'll just close that up, easy so. All the wiring terminates right here uh, and it goes through a junction box. So you're not having any pass through, so it's a nice, easy connection. 
And then again, all the air lines terminate at the firewall. So from there, it goes to the, these valves and there's an electronic signal on the other side. So none of the dash has uh, any air lines going up to it. There's a few spots that do your brakes, your transmission shifter, but other than that, it's all electrical in behind the dash, which is easy to diagnose and service. So let's check out the other side before we head inside. So over here is your turbo. Uh, we have your coolant filter right there, your oil filter, and that's your centrifugal. So that's the spinner to kind of get debris out. Centrifugal, centrifugal. I can never say that. Anyways, and there's your other oil filter. Up here is your HVAC system, heating, ventilation, and air conditioning. Easy to change that filter. And there's the main filter. You can purchase a secondary filter that goes right in there if you want. Okay, close that up. And uh, your headlights and everything are all in behind here. I'm not gonna bother opening it up here today. It's a little bit too cold. Yeah, I'm, a, I'm a little bit uh, of a sissy some days. Anyhow, and then uh, up here is your coolant for the engine. So we'll just close that, close up the hood, and take this tour inside the truck. All right, so here we are in the truck. I just have it idling along here because it's cold out and just trying to uh, stay warm. Anyhow, uh, we have on the door panel right here, this is your, uh, your door locks, your window lift controls, your mirror controls, and your mirror heat. So you can just hit that button there and uh, that'll get your heat up on the mirrors. Uh, down here is your ignition. This is to adjust the brightness on the dash. This is your interior lights. So it's a three position switch. The first switch throws a little red light on the floor there. And then the next switch throws a light up above here in the cab. Uh, this is your exterior light pre-trip uh, switch. So that cycles all of your clearance lights, your high beam, low beam, uh, your beacons, uh, so just to check all your lights to make sure that they're working. Uh, here is your work light. Those are mounted on the side extenders on the back. And then there's the beacon light switch that is mounted uh, on the top of the sleeper. Now right here is your adjustment for your steering control. So if you want to adjust the tilt or you can even pull it towards you. So that's uh, your adjustment right there. And your signal stat right there, that is to put uh, windshield washer fluid on the window. You turn that to adjust your wipers and then that's your interrupter switch for your marker lights that are mounted in the visor. Uh, here's your volume control for your radio and here is the cruise control switch. Now that also is to adjust your high idle. So if I hit the set button here, you'll see the RPMs kind of bounce up there. So, or resume just drops them down. You can program that at the dealership to bump up to 50 RPM or 100 RPM every time you tap it. So it's just however you want it set up. It's set default right now to go 100. Uh, now this is a 13 speed ultra shift. So it's the AMT or automated manual transmission. <clears throat> and your Jake brake control is right there. So as you pull that back, the dash shows your Jake brake. And then here is your drive in reverse. You can hit this into manual mode by hitting the button here, and then you can toggle it up and down to, uh, to go through the gears there if you want to manually. Now over here is a spare switch. This is your light for the sleeper, so I'll turn that on. It is a, a switch that goes back to the resting position. I really like that. So you can see right there, the light stays on, uh, but it goes back to the low position. Uh, there's your trailer brakes engine fan, air traction control. This is your uh, lane departure uh, warning. So there is a camera system that's mounted right up there. And that camera will uh, watch the road lines. And if you have this disabled, it will stop watching. And uh, if you wanted to see what that looks like, I've done a video on the Bendix system. So you can check that out. Now here is your uh, hill assist. Uh, to disable that. So what that does is when you engage the hill assist switch, it holds the brakes for about three seconds. So when your foot is on the brake and you're going over to the throttle, you're not going to uh, roll backwards. It'll hold the brakes for you. 
There's another spare switch. Now this is your DPF regen switch. Now there is an option, you've seen this look differently in previous videos, where there it says uh, manual or stop. Now we ordered this truck to have no stop, no way to inhibit the regen switch. It only has an engage. So it's always in that position. Uh, if you want to turn on the regen switch, you just hold that down and it will do a regen for you. Here's a spare switch again, air suspension dump. <coughs> Here's your power divider, your front diff lock, and then here is your uh, here is your PTO switch. And there is your uh, fifth wheel slide. Now over here is your heat controls. If you want to turn on the bunk heat, whatever it's set to, you just hit that. As you can see, it's set to full blast in the back there, so I'll just turn that off. Uh, you can adjust the rear temperature from up here, but you can uh, turn the fan off and on. Uh, as far as extra gauges, we put a manifold pressure, turbo boost, uh, your front diff, rear diff, tranny temperature, air suspension, and fuel filter. Now what is this, you might ask? So that is a pre-wire with a pass-through for the uh, MCP, uh, I believe it is, uh, Omnitrax system. Anyways, what that is, it's for a for tracking, for truck tracking. So uh, they are going to be mounting on their system. Uh, I believe it's the Omnitrax system. And uh, with that, they're going to be putting their hardware that goes all on the dash right there. So it's all pre-wired. So it's just plug and play and away you go. So that's a nice thing that you can do right from the factory. Okay, so there's also an ashtray, which is removable. So very simple. And then there is your cigarette lighter. There is a power outlet on the side here as well. Now this truck here, we ordered it with the ultra leather seats and uh, they are heated as well. So there's a little heat button right there. You can just flick on and then they're heated. Now that seat swivels around. I'll show you how that works in a second. Yeah, let's take a look in the back of the truck here for a minute. My shoes are off, I'm wearing my socks, so I'm good. All right, so on this side here, we have standard, the lower drawer right there. So nice deep drawer. And then you have your drawer style fridge, which pulls out. And this top piece here can come down. You can click that off if you wanna have more space and pull that out and you have a bigger fridge. Uh, up here is your closet. You have storage in here and here, along with a mirror and a spot to hang your hat or your toque. Uh, up here is your uh, hanger to hang your pants or your jackets or whatever. And then we have these nice deep uh, pockets here to store shoes or uh, toiletries, dirty clothes, whatever you want to do, however you want to organize it. Now there is a shelf that could go in here if you wanted to. You can see all the notching here. So we ordered and opted to not have it from, from the factory. Otherwise there would be a shelf here that you can remove or keep in there, whatever your choice is. So we'll just uh, close up the this here. Put my, my toque back on. All right, now a really nice thing here on this back wall, we put more storage. So we have a nice uh, cabinet here and it does have this rubber piece that I've shown in previous videos. So it's got that rubber. It just kind of holds this nice and tight up against there. So it's not gonna rattle on you. Uh, this is a really deep, uh, storage pocket it goes basically down to here so you have about a six inch uh, buffer right here and you can throw lots of stuff in there and then another nice cabinet here just look at how nicely these things open and close it's just very very well thought out and well laid out now i'm really excited to show you this area here so we have that little light and what we have going on here this is the kim system control so this adjusts the, the heater if you want it to turn on uh, the S-bar or the, uh, the air conditioning unit. So that's how that works. And I'll do a future video on how that all works. Uh, here's a factory inverter. This is to turn the fridge off and on. Uh, here is your 12 volt uh, cigarette charger. And we also can put a USB charger back here. So you can't do that with the nav system, but you can do that with uh, with this control here with the with the standard radio uh, here's your adjustment for the rear heat 
Uh, this is the dome light overhead, a little night light on the floor. You can lock the doors from back here. And here's an alarm clock uh, right there for you. So uh, now we also have, we ordered this one here with the control. This is a different unit. This can actually control the volume of the radio in the truck. So if you wanted to order the truck, again, only available with the standard radio, you can't get this. It's not integrated into the NAV Plus system. But I really don't in, uh, the 2.1 meter cabs, which would be the 680, 880, or W990. So a little bit about that section there. Uh, right over here is the, the rotating table. I've showed that lots and lots. So that's uh, this guy right here. Now with the inverter, you get uh, plugs right there. You get the 110 outlets, 110 amp outlet right there, 100, or 120 volt, uh, sorry, 12 volt, 120 watt for the cigarette style. You have your TV mount right here. And then uh, again, another one for your microwave right here, factory uh, plugs with the 12 volt cigarette style lighter plug-in. Uh, we got the two drawers down below. And let me show you how this uh, seat swivels. So what you do with the swivel seat is you, first of all, there's a sweet spot that this seat will swivel around for you no problem. Uh, so having it too far back, it's going to hit the grab handle that you use to get in and out of the truck. So what you want to do is you want to slide the seat just forward enough where you have a little bit of room between the seat and the cup holder here. Then you flip the switch and then it will spin around. I just cleared it and I'm going to knock my camera over. Bang. <laughs> so now that that's so now that that is swung around, you can now slide the seat back and you're in position. So that was two motions. So if you find that sweet spot, it's a very swift and easy thing to, uh, to move around there. Now, uh, you have two more controls here between my legs. You can adjust how much cushion you want to have underneath your legs, and then you can also adjust the tilt. So as you can see here, now I'm reclined back. My feet are dangling off the floor here. <laughs> and I can even tilt it back even further. <clears throat> so now I'm totally relaxed. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you had fun uh, checking things out. Again, a big thank you to the folks at Harris Transport for buying this truck and uh, putting their trust in me to help them design this. Uh, it's been a lot of fun. And I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something in how to spec a truck. And if you have any questions, you can comment below. Uh, I'd be happy to answer them. I try to respond to everybody's uh, comments below. Uh, if you haven't had a chance to subscribe to the channel, just click on the bottom corner uh, of the screen there and you can uh, hit the subscribe button and make sure that you hit the bell so that you get notified when new videos are coming out. Uh, if you want to check out what we have in inventory here at Inland Kenworth, you can click up here. Uh, it'll link you to my personal webpage, thekenworthguy.com, and I've linked all of our inventory there, so you can check that out. Uh, so I look forward to seeing you next week in the, in the next video, and as always, have yourself the world's best day. Hey, I forgot to mention here. Did you guys figure out what the new thing was? It's the visor, the chrome visor outside. I'm so pumped to see it. This was the first time that I've ever seen from the factory a factory supplied stainless steel visor. It's pretty cool. It makes the truck look really good. So really happy to, uh, to see that there. 
So that's 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 the surprise. I hope you're just as excited as I am. All right, we'll see you later. <laughs>